these championships, a special anniversary edition. In fact, games held across multiple nations, a true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be at least for partisan parties the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. Well, that was impressive. Match that. And we're underway. Can he find a finish now? He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. This is promising. To Jack. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. Guerrero did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. And here's Chujak. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Forward it goes. Andre Silva gets it out to the wing. Bruno Fernandes. But not and Bernardo Silva! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Hungary making their first change very early on. Well, I don't think he's going to be delighted at being substituted at this stage, especially when you consider the position they're in. Um, he'll be a bit miffed about this, yeah. And it's got through. Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And here's Andre Silva. Andre Silva plays it out to the flank. It is a corner. Nothing. I think his face smacks of disbelief as opposed to disappointment. Uh, he thought he was about to score. Portugal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And now the breakaway. And helps available out wide. Jujak. Jujak with... He's had a shot! He's pulled off a fine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. 
Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And... Chance! Guerrero. Well, it's a scoreline to raise the eyebrow. 1-0 to the underdogs. And the counter is on. Looking for space out wide. Oh, good interception. Oh, nice touch. Room for a shot. Jao Cancelo, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. And it's Andre Silva. Shalai looks to get on the end of this. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Jean Moutinho. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Hits one! Time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious danger man here, and yet he's afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. <laughs> Portugal grabbed the equaliser, and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Good idea, just poorly executed. Jean Moutinho over to the left, gets away from his opponent, finds himself eased off the ball. Guerrero, Guerrero with a definite foul there. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. He's got options out wide. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. This possibly the last play of the half. Pepe attempts a clearance. Hits one! Good effort, and it is right on half-time. Hungary produced a terrific spell at the end there, culminating in a chance that their fans could not believe did not go in. The midway point of the game. Who wants half time when you have a contest this good? I can only hope it picks up where it left off. So both teams heading off for the break. An interesting game has brewed up here. Hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half. But the score at half time is 1 1. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Ricardo Pereira. Guerrero. Oh, sweet feet. Oh, good take and a Cristiano Ronaldo! It's there! And now it's all about how they handle this from here. Edging ahead again in the second half is best followed up with a, a bold mindset, a bold approach. The skipper set the example. It's up to his teammates now to follow. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering, and 
Listen, we all expect that. Ricardo Pereira. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Ricardo Pereira gets into some space. And it's Bernardo Silva. The referee's awarded a free kick. He's got Bruno Fernandes! Oh, that is very close. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Oh, they are still trailing. They require a change of fortune, pretty sharpish. Guerrero gets it back. The uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Chance to break. Tries to dink it in. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Challenge, he just stood firm. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Andre Silva. Andre Silva. And the finish! He scored! Two up now, and they are cruising. What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. That has changed the dynamic somewhat. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. Bernardo Silva. And it's Kujak. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Ricardo Pereira hit the slide tackle there. Fence has got rid of that. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Andre Silva, Bruno Fernandes. Out towards the flank. Bernardo Silva. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were... Very annoyed. He's come loose. Juchak with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Hungary have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Well, the referee's seen the board, and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. More than happy to take the muscular approach. 
That's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. And here's Shalloy. And here's Andre Silva. Jack has a hit! It's the goal! Late drama, late goal! This will be one frantic ending! Swift, incisive, deadly, all done in a matter of seconds. Well, talking about being hit on the break, the ball was in their net before they could even organise their defence. It was fast and furious, and all but unstoppable. Hungary give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. João Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes. Danilo Pereira tries to. Up he gets! I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Gets the better of his man. Carries far too far and out of play. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. And time is up. So the first game is lost and there is ground to be made up. The margin for error significantly reduced. That would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Listen, sometimes going into chase mode can bring out the best in teams, and we're about to discover if this one has the substance needed to prevail. If they have it, the only way is up. Everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all, now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that won really, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. As you can see, we've already started here. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Timo Werner. He's quick and direct, Peter, 
loves to play on the shoulder of the last defender, and he's always looking to make that run in behind. Has a hit! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Kimmich battles to win it back. Werner. All the way back, and they start again. Umtiti. And out to safety. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. And it's Gundawan. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Gnabry. Goalkeeper's ball. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Gundogan, Werner, and he's cut it out. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. And play for a throw. Werner. Goes for a sweeping cross. Mbappe, now it's Fekir. Neuer gets it away. Titi gets it back. Pavard. Pavard plotting from out on the right-hand side. Looking for a decent ball in. Werner. Plays it out to the wing. He's got away. Chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Oh, managed to get it away. Now it's Gundogan. Aimed in towards massive leap. Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. Chan, and it's Canabri. Chan, Chan, making use of the space out wide. Lamar, Longley, Mondi, Lamar, and it's Mondi. More than happy to take the muscular approach. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Chan. It's Chan! Gnabry. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside.
Koeman. Can he deliver? What a throw in. Fakir gets it out to the wing. And it's Lamar. Werner looking to penetrate opposition lines. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Werner with a really impressive run, which nearly went the whole way. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. <laughs> Whistle goes, and we start the second half. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Lamar. Beautifully done. Towering header! Just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. What? Zana! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. France keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Pavar. Pavar switches it towards the other side. Finds himself eased off the ball. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Werner pings it out wide. Look at the defender bombing forward. Great leap! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by... Someone. Conte. Longley. Uh, they continue each to cancel the other out. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Coman. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. And it's Kundawan. Now the counter. Oh, good interception. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Mondi. So much has happened in this game, but still no goal. Well, from an entertainment viewpoint, it's not the scoreline we would have wanted at this stage, although I'm not complaining about the commitment being shown. We've seen plenty of goal mouth action. Real chance! Oh, that's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. And it's been taken short. Keeper's ball. Werner. <laughs> Going through. <laughs> Mondi tries to get it forward quickly. Lamar gets it back. Neuer chooses to deal with it himself.
Kuman. And here's... And the finish! France merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Koeman. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. A good run down the left hand side. Gnabry, he gets past his man. Chan. Germany showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Deftly done. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Conte. Keeper sends it forward. From Titi. Titi drives it forward. And it's Rudiger. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Loris sends that a long way. The referee's awarded a free kick. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Longley. Pogba. And that's it. Germany must wait for their first win, but they have their first point. That for now will have to suffice. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? I don't think they'll be too upset about that. One point is okay, and steering clear...